Auburn's great mascot, Aubrey, never utters a sound, but his actions speak much louder than words. Meet Aubrey, Auburn University's Goodwill Ambassador and five-time Mascot of the Year National Champion. Aubrey was born more than 60 years ago through the creative drawings of a Birmingham Post-Herald artist. Phil Neal is the gentleman who created the cartoon character of Aubrey in 1959. And that character graced the cover of all our football programs in those days. And in 1979, the SGA Director of Spirit, a student named James Lloyd, who now lives in Anniston, came up with the idea of bringing the mascot to life. From the pages of football programs to a lovable and charming mascot, Albie has captured the true Auburn spirit and the hearts of thousands of fans. All the way to the Auburn family means the spirit of Auburn. Um, whenever we're at a football game, no matter if we're winning or losing, Albee still maintains that uh, winning attitude. His spirit's always there. He never loses character. It takes a special individual to embody the Auburn spirit on a full-time basis. Choosing this individual is a complex process. We have selections every spring. And at Auburn, we have a lot of students that show interest. We'll have about 40 that show up at an orientation meeting in January and February. Um, when it comes down to the clinic, we have a week of clinic every night where students get to get in the suit and learn how to walk like Albie and learn what it's like to plan skits. By the end of that week, we're usually left with an average of 16 to 20 students. The tryouts consist of a skit that each person will perform in the suit and then the second day of tryouts is called impromptus and that's when each candidate comes out in the costume and they react to music and to props and they've had no chance to prepare nor have they heard the music that's playing to see how spontaneous they are. Aubie has come a long way since his first appearance over two decades ago from just a drawing on a piece of paper he has developed into the mascot that Auburn fans know and love at every Auburn athletic event. And today, there's more involved in sideline antics and playful pranks on game days. There's so many activities during the week. There's at least, I'd say, six or seven appearances before a football game. It's just a lot more than what it looks like. And it's so hard just to, for someone who's not in the situation just to fathom how much work goes into it. But it's a, it's a full-time job plus school. With numerous public appearances and charity events, those involved with Albie will surely cherish the countless memories. I was with Albie one time, and he was at Camp Aska, and cheerleaders went, Albie was there. It was for the camp that week was with kids with sickle cell anemia, and you know all the kids weren't feeling good, they were sick of taking meds, and they were having a dance that night, and there was one kid that was having a hard time eating his food that night was bursting in tears and just was not feeling good. So Albie came out and spent some special time just with him before. And as soon as he saw Albie, a smile came to his face. From a cartoon character in 1959 to a national champion in 2003, Albie is and will always be an integral part of Auburn tradition. Be sure to vote for Albie for the 2003 National Mascot of the Year. You can vote once a day at CapitalOneBowl.com.